How long were you married? 16 years. Long time. Mm -hmm. Did you live in this state? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We were high school sweethearts. Because I'd buy my own food, I'd buy my own clothes. Right. Don't hang out. And I tell these people, they talk shit, oh, you dirty bum and all that. You cannot live in my shoes for 24 hours. Everything? Everything. So you have to kind of, you have to take you your. You carry your stuff around. If not, it'll get stolen from other homeless people. And um, slowly passed away with cancer. No, oh, untreated? Yeah, yeah, because nobody would help him. Now, did he have the insurance you had? He had the insurance, but still wasn't enough, you know? Right. So. Right. It's just. So sometimes, you know, whenever I feel bad or lonely, I just go to our spot that we used to sit and talk all the time. And I'll just sit there. In my mind, I'm talking to him. Today is going to be a, a different type of uh, wild journey. Today we're in the middle of uh, downtown Orlando and we're going to be learning about homelessness. I've um, got a woman by the name of Paige who has agreed to allow me to tag along with her today. Uh, I've got a lot of questions about homelessness. I know a lot of people uh, make a lot of assumptions about homelessness, but I have a feeling each case is a little different. Paige is going to get us to the inside um, of that story. So here we go. Okay, so plans change. I had uh, planned for about six weeks to meet uh, Paige to talk about uh, her story and enlighten us about homelessness. And that didn't work out. Uh, she did not show. I stayed for about an hour and uh, decided that I needed to make a different plan for today. And so I'm meeting Frederick, uh, who we'll learn more about and try and get uh, some insight into his story and uh, his homelessness. Um, find out more about it and uh, educate us all. It's not all the, uh, the same assumptions and uh, conclusions a lot of people tend to come up with when it comes to homelessness. Um, everybody's got a different story I've learned and a lot of those stories are uh, pretty interesting, painful, a lot of things. I told you. Hey, hey there goes Paige right down there. She's coming over here. I well then her. she'll join us. Uh, she'll join us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I okay. told her. I told her to be here. And I, Good. I said, I'll be on the side of Walgreens. Mark will be here. All right. That's. She said, because she overslept today. Yeah, yeah I mean, why. things happen. So, uh, so Frederick and Mark, officially, this thing's running. You're okay with it running? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting used to the uh, idea of, it's a GoPro. It's kind of neat. So Paige is coming. That's actually yeah. really great. I, I, I didn't know what to think. I yeah. thought maybe she kind of stood me up, but um, it's a hard life. I know, I know. Laying, you want a diet coke? Concrete with broken back and all that. You want this? I'm getting no. I'm getting okay. ready to go get uh, Mountain Dew after we okay. do this interview. Well, I'm so sorry, my friend. It's okay. <laughs> how are you? All right. How are you? Good. It's not a problem. I so what I did um, when I was in college. Yes. There's a rule, your professor's late, you give him 15 minutes. Yeah. So you're smarter than any professor. I stayed for a full hour, and then I, I walked everywhere to try to find you, uh -huh. and um, I failed. <laughs> so I saw Frederick uh, at lunch, and um, I said, would you sit in? So I just came up to say hello to Frederick. He's like, Paige is on her way, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, so. I thought what we could do, so I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. And just a page knows also. Um, basically, I wanted to kind of stop a lot of the assumptions people make. You know, yeah. I hear a lot of times uh, the homeless are lazy, uh, get a job, they're all, you know, uh, dirty they're. Dirty bomb and uh, animals. 
just like I tell them, uh, I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. There are some nasty characters out there. There are some good people. Well, yeah. you too. So Paige, I don't know. She used to call me Hey Buddy forever. <laughs> and so I said, it's Mark. Yeah. And so I've known Paige for probably six, seven years, maybe. And she's always been nice. Okay. Yeah, she's, Paige, it's just been nice, you know, and. Oh, I know Paige a long time, almost 20 years. I have a couple questions. I'm gonna come over here so I can kind of get you both in the, uh, in the frame. You hurt your back. Yeah, I moved furniture for 10 years for Beacon Van Lines. And a 1,400 pound pool table crushed my spine. And so, surgeries? 16 on my spine. What were you, what was your life, your life like before that happened? Oh, I mean, I was married for 22 years. I got 17 grandchildren and five great grandchildren, four kids. As we sit here today? Yeah. Do they, do you see them at all or? Um, I can't, I can't travel that far anymore because of my spine. Right. But I do talk to them every week. How, do you, I keep in contact with them. Do you have a phone? Um, I use my friend's phone. Okay. I stay with, yeah. Okay. So you have. And my mother, my mother's been fighting cancer for like 50 years. She had her breast taken off 50 years ago. How old are you? I'm 54, I'm gonna be 55. I've been retired since the age of 28. I wow. Broke my back when I was 28 years old. Wow. And have you been able, you've just not been able to work at all, oh, right? No. With an injury like the, that? The doctors put me at 100% and totally and permanently disabled. I will never work, I can't even sit at a desk and answer a telephone. And so you, you get my SSI? Spine, yeah, it, it's on hold right now. Right. Yeah, um, because I had to change banks because yep. somebody scammed my bank at BNC. They they um, cash at my bank account. They got my figures or numbers somehow, and uh, they cash at me for seven hundred and eighty-five dollars. Wow. Yep. Which is so I had to change banks. And they weren't replacing my money. And PNC was taking fees out for the last six months. It was almost $600, and they didn't tell me that in the beginning on the paperwork or anything. I said, y'all don't tell anybody. If I knew you were gonna take all these fees out, I wouldn't even open the account here. Wow. So, do you, are you considered homeless, or is it, do you have a, a secure shelter? Um, you said your friend? I I got something secure now. I'm just waiting because um, I'm just waiting for my social security to hit my bank account, and then I'll be going indoors. Got it. I I just can't take it no more because my spine's collapsing through my tailbone. Yeah. The, the surgeon told me the only thing <clears throat> safe for me right now is this chair because if I was on my feet, I'd be on the ground. Every day. Do you have a lot of pain? Oh, always. I gave up on pain medication. Why did you give up on the medications? Just they had me on too much. Okay. Fourteen hundred milligram a day for twenty-two years. And so you just you stopped it? Yep. I haven't touched it in over fourteen months. And you feel good about that? I mean, uh, it's, a, no, it's an accomplishment, it's, it's but pain, it's painful. I, but like my father told me, I got to stop blocking all my pain out because I could have something internally wrong with me and I wouldn't even know. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. You know? that the, the, yeah. But I block everything out. Wow. I don't complain about my pains to anybody because who wants to hear that? Who does? So I've never seen you ask for money. I've seen... Oh, I, I, all I ask is a spare little change to get something to eat. Yeah. That's all I ask. Wow. And I and I tell these people, I don't want no money from you. If you could get me 
a slice of pizza or a burrito and a soda, yeah. I'll be happy with it. I think I think I got you a slice of pizza one time when Walgreens yeah. was open. Yeah. Dito. Walgreens uh Dito's got the best pizza in town. Gus. That's the way they got How it. How you doing today, buddy? That's the way they got it set up. It loads from the bottom. So let me interrupt for a minute. Yeah. So Paige, your style. Yes. I was not the only buddy. Right, no, I, everybody to me is a buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I meet so many people every day. Yeah. It's so hard for me to keep up with everybody's needs. Right. So to be fair and, and you know, not make mistakes, I just say, hey, buddy or friend. Yes, that's what you've done. And you've been very consistent. Um, and that's one thing that captured my attention when it came to you you know is your the way you you go about it it's uh it's soft right. um frederick uh i met i was getting off sunrail a few mornings ago and you were crossing the street to get to the garage and we spoke it was clear that that was an opportunity for you to ask for something and you didn't and yeah. it's not like me saying I I, yeah you didn't I, yeah. I don't unless I really need it. Yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? My um, social security's on hold right now. Or I wouldn't ask these people for anything. Because I buy my own food, I buy my own clothes. Right. The whole night out. And I tell these people, they talk shit, oh you dirty bum and all that. You cannot live in my shoes for twenty four hours. When when you're done here where do you go? What I, time of day do you I head out? I normally work Orange and Anderson across from City Hall, Kitty Corner, yep. the Elot Hotel. Okay. Or I'm at South in Orange, directly across from City Hall yep. on Dr. Phillips sidewalk. And okay. And did you say you work? That you no, use? I don't. I don't work. I mean, but, well, it is. You're doing something, I'm right? Doing something yeah. To get, get, get food for me and two other people okay. at my camp. Okay. I'm not feeding just myself, I'm feeding two other people. Okay. Yep. So you split the costs and... Yeah, I, whatever I make, I make sure they eat. Uh, oh, yeah. It says a lot got a more heart. than a lot of people. I got a heart like gold. I'll help anybody out as much as possible. I Paige. I won't buy them drugs or alcohol, but yeah. I will buy them food or soda, juice. Um, hey, Paige, you, uh, and you guys, if you know this, people just yell. I don't, I hope, I don't want to screw up. No, no, no. Okay. That's like, I don't want to be yeah. a problem. <laughs> this is, I'm cutting into your right. business time, right? right? Um, so you told me that you don't uh, have a house or a room per se, but you, somebody allows you to sleep on a porch. Yes. And that's, I assume, close to Publix in that direction? Pretty much, yes. Okay. I, I'm not going to, won't go there, but I mean. Paige has been down that way for a long time. And, and this woman, man, they say, go ahead. Yeah. And it's, is it secured? Yeah, is there, yeah, it, it like, is. It is. It's got cameras around it, so I feel safe there, you know. Is it a home or? It's a business. Business. Okay. Yeah, so, and um, it's just, you know, the people that own it, own it are very nice to me. I've known them for a very long time. And they were like, you know, in the beginning they were like, you really can't stay here, but there was no other choice when I couldn't get into the shelter because it, I felt more secure there. It, it, there, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I just, I mean you're, you're, I'm guessing you're five, four, five, three close five one you probably weigh a hundred if maybe a hundred and change right you definitely keep your weight in check right. right um but you're a woman right right so you have a lot of concerns i'm yeah. sure plus i'm getting older slower so I'm how old are you 55 55 and uh frederick you said you're 50 54 54 was, 55 i'm 57 born on thanksgiving 1968 so you got a birthday coming up yeah, uh, I'm Thanksgiving. What, any plans for the birthday? Okay. It's just a day older. Right. Right. It's all it is. All right, right. It's only a day older. Another year added to your time. 
So I'm gonna walk down to Publix with Paige. How long are you gonna be up here? I'll, I'll roll down here with y'all. Paige, how long have you been, you know, in Orlando? Since uh, 2000, 2000. 2000. Yeah. And, uh, and you hurt your ankle, you were working? Yeah. Full time, yeah. or tell me about that. Yeah, I was working full time at Walmart and shipping and receiving. Broke my ankle in front of the public right down the road here. You wanna cross here? Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. We got on painkillers yeah. that came with alcohol. Yeah. You were at Walmart. Yeah. You broke your ankle. Yes. Got hooked on the painkillers. What did they give you for painkillers? Yeah, uh, well, oxycodones and then lower tabs. And it just, I was just getting, uh, I got hooked on them real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Didn't right. Long. And then that came with alcohol. And then, you know, with all of that, that started doing cocaine, so. Okay. Now, clean, sober. How long have you been clean, sober? Wow. What do you say, Fred? Like six, seven years now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, good, good, good while now. That had to be difficult, I'm sure. It was, it was very difficult. How did your health uh, last, you know, through that period? Ah. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, Okay, I mean, it's just, you know, you can see yourself spiraling down. Right. You know, so. We're following you, Frederick. <laughs> so, uh, so you, you can see it spiraling down. So then, you, have, you know, once you hit rock bottom, it, you hit hard, you know, and it makes you wake up a little bit and say, oh, something's got to change. So, I was sobered up and then um, found the Lord yep. and realized, you know, that was one of the reasons why he put me out here was to help others, not just myself, you know, and uh, just be kind and compassionate with others, you know, because a lot of people don't realize they're one paycheck from being right out here in my situation. Yeah, and, and your ankle? It's doing much better. Still have the metal in it. Wow, that was a heck of a break. Yeah, six inch plate and the nine pins in it. Um, wow. But it's doing better. I mean, it hurts during the cold, cold weather and stuff. And you, do you have heat at night at the building or? No, no. Uh, -uh. it's just the front porch, you know. So, I mean. Right. But it's covered and it's it's. Out of the weather. Right. So. Exposure. I mean, you still have cold. What's so? I've always wanted to ask you, what the hell's in the backpack? <laughs> is that everything? Everything. So you have to kind of, you have to take you your. You carry your stuff around. If not, it'll get stolen from other homeless people. They are rude. They are. They are. They, they get jealous or something. And they got stone hearts. Yeah. They want. See, I also put my food and my drink. Yep. And my juices and my soda and all that. And. They want everything that I hustle for, and I told them, you go hustle for it. Yeah. Because I do. So your ankle's healed, obviously. You'll always probably have some discomfort and pain. It's, co it's more problematic. At, when's the last time you had the orthodox, you know, job? Um, how, is it is it almost impossible? Do you think for you to, to do that at this point? Uh, no, no. I've been, um, you know, I I worked for Champs for a good good month. What was Champs? The the deli right across the street from the library. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Them for a long time, long time. Right. And um, what what did you do there? I, I well helped Gloria with making the food. And, I would, you know, run the food to the businesses, wherever order they had. Just right. Like, you know, enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah, but I mean, you couldn't. The thing is, you can't put enough money away exactly. doing that to become exactly. independent, right? Right. So you have enough money to maybe purchase some things to make life a little easier. Yeah. Like, what's the most important thing? It's like a, right now, what, what if 
you know, there somebody out there that can provide you one thing that you don't have, uh -huh. what would it be? You know, uh, <laughs> socks and comfortable shoes. Socks, socks and comfortable shoes. What size are you? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah. All right, so what I'll do in the description on this video, do you have like a P.O. box or a mailbox? Uh, no. Okay. Um, all right, let me, I'll, I'll try to work that one out. Uh, <laughs> but socks and comfortable shoes. Yeah. You know I move around a lot, and I don't I don't take the bus system. I've been down here 20 years, and I got on the bus twice. Wow. Otherwise, I'm walking or rolling everywhere I go. And I see you're pretty good at that. At least and it alleviates. I don't use my arms at all until I come to a rough ramp, coming up a ramp, but right. otherwise it's all. I use my legs everywhere. And the arms at that point are more for a break. Yeah. When yeah. I get up in the morning, it takes me at least an hour and a half before I can start moving because of my spine. Wow. If I move any quicker than that, then I'm in pain. I mean, severe pain all day. Paige, what do you do for healthcare? You're 55. I just try oh, and I got insurance and all that. Yeah. I, okay. I got insurance. It was free, but. How do you get insurance? Now, people come there out people here. People go around doing know, it. Sign like, you up for insurance. Like the city does that, or? No, do you? no, no. The insurance company. Insurance companies. They got people out here doing it. And it's, it's a benefit of like a uh, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, you know. It, it, uh, wow. Yeah. Help the homeless. Help. So you basically identify yourself as homeless to take your social security number. And then they allow you to see a physician. Right. Okay. Now there's also a free clinic up the road on our OBT. But I don't like going to that because it's too, too it's on the aggressive side. No. Things out here have definitely changed, you know? Yep. A lot of our friends have passed away. If they haven't passed away just by, you know, nature, uh, you know, their, the struggle, they were killed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's like a friend of ours, uh, Jackie, her name was, and mm -hmm. uh, she was, um, uh, people were, somebody was feeding her fentanyl. Oh, she wow. She slowly passed away. Wow. Yeah, so, it's things like that that scares me, so that's why I stay to myself pretty much these days. You both are allowed in here? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I come uh, in here. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> uh, really? Okay, yeah. Why? The, the security guard in there. Who, Will? The black guy. Tall guy? Tall black guy. Yeah. yeah. And they usually have an a OPD officer in yeah, there at nighttime. If, if I go in there with you, will they allow you to? No, they will not allow her. She's banned yeah. for life. And Milton, too. And Milton. Yeah. I found out more about Milton. We'll talk I about go that. I'm in there every day and catch my change in yeah. to the change machine. What do you want? They all know me. Uh, like some chicken tenders. Chicken tenders? Yeah, that's it. Do you ever eat any vegetables? Sometimes, yes. Do you like any vegetables? Oh, yeah. What kind? Like broccoli. Like raw? No, no. How do you want it? Um, I don't know if I can get it cooked, but... Yeah. No, just, just chicken tenders are good. You'll be happy with chicken tenders? Yeah. I can't believe you're not allowed in there. No, they had security guard in there. Okay. He, he passes everybody, you know? Okay. Um, then hang out here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go in. She wants chicken tenders, which I can't eat because I'll end up in the hospital. You're going in for something or are you going to hang? Um, uh, I was gonna ask you if you could get me two meals. What do you want? Um, uh, like chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, and macaroni and cheese. They got car. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So two uh, of those. I can go in. I well, I mean, you can or I can get it. I'm good either no, way. I can, I can All go right, in. you're on your own. I'm Don't fine. disappear. I won't. All right, um, we'll see you in a minute. We're on. So I'm interviewing people um, who are either homeless or find themselves in a predicament that they're out here in, in the way of money or whatever it might be. Right, you, you. You, you have a CP? Right. Yep. Well, 
So I, everybody I know who I like likes you. Yeah. My girlfriend, Karen, used to be down here 25 years ago. Yeah. And she, yeah, 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 yeah. She used to, so I talked to the security guard today and he says, here's the story. He says, Milton's never an issue. Everybody likes Milton, but everybody around was coming around and using the space next to him. Yeah. So they said, okay, you making guys got to leave. Make, making a, a big issue. Correct. Yeah. So they said, well, you tell us to leave. Why don't you tell him? Yeah. So the manager says, I guess, fair point. Now you're banned. So the best part of the story was, and um, I'm sure Will will tell you, he told me this. It's funny. He says, uh, then Milton went to Morgan and Morgan. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Well. Wow. Jerry Deming's good, good, good. And I'm sure the mayor had something to say. Good, and Buddy Dyer. Good. All right, so we got to go inside. I got to get chicken chick tenders. He's got two chicken tender meals I'm going to pick up. Is cash good for you? Yeah. All right. I don't know how much I'll get, but I'll, let me work on it. Well, I want to. Thank you. All right. Um, we'll see you shortly. Okay. Don't get kicked out, okay? I'm going. So he's carrying everything like no big deal. You got your uh, chicken tenders. Got it, buddy? Oh. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got yeah. it. All right. Don't let a ramp start. Uh, well, you got a lot of weight now in there. No, I. Ask Paige, I've had it more than that stacked up here. Do you want to sit down and, and eat somewhere? Me. Is there a place to sit and eat or no? Um, where can we go sit though? That's a problem. Yeah, I'm, um, tra I'm trespassed from Lake Eola for life. Seriously? I got a lifetime trespass. Congratulations. I was fat. How'd you, hey, how'd you do you that? Remember where Panera Bread was? Yeah. You know how the benches go around? Yeah. I was sleeping there and a cop in 2010 came up while I was sleeping and tased me. I got up, ripped the wires out, I hit him so hard. Wow. He did two back with what he called for back. And as they were coming in the park, I was knocking him out. Wow. I I wasn't a violent person, but the judge said I can give you 20 years right now for seven batteries on seven Leos. Yep. I'm not going to. I did almost a year on it in 33rd, and uh, he said, I'm going to drop all charges. He said that cop didn't have no right tasing you when you were sleeping. So where so, where can you actually sit down? Oh, Gator Park. <laughs> Where's that? The, if you go up here past the library and the limo spot. Yeah. You got the park. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. With the metal alligators. With the history center. Yeah, the history center. You know that was the, the courthouse? Yeah. In the jailhouse back in the 40s. Do you want to go there? Yeah, we can go there. At least you can eat. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Slow down. I'm going to give you a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm doing something on uh, homeless. Okay, well, you have to. No. No. Behave it. Yeah. He's not going to get us arrested? No. Okay, good. No, no Fred, Fred's not going to do that. No. Thank you. I respect them because all they're doing is their job. You give them a little respect and it goes easier, a long right? way. Take care, man. You have a good day. I'll make you one. You don't either, all right? Oh, no, I don't do nothing wrong, sir. <laughs> I respect you. you know, I'm not sure how it works. We don't do park any metered parking. Well, officers don't do anything. 
You want to make sure you're in the white box. Didn't mean to jump down the lane. Make sure you're in the white box. Even though if you're high, your bumper's on the line, you'll still get a $27 ticket. You can pay the meter with the coins or your debit card for our phone app. So the other day you mentioned when I said, let's try to get together, you used the word the ambassador. What's the ambassador? Those guys that um, wear the blue shirt. Okay. How do they have anything to do with you? I thought they were more like uh, tourism type <laughs> stuff. No, they're here to help the people. Okay. You and I, yep. like if um, somebody's lost, they're supposed to help. Now, how do you use them legitimately? Well, how, do they help you navigate or? Mr. James, the head ambassador. Yeah. He does. Okay. Good person? Mm-hmm. Yep. Give me an example of something they would help you with. Like if I need a new backpack or, okay. you know, um, clothes or medicine. I'll go to Mr. James and he'll, he'll pretty much help me out on that. You both have IDs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got ID. You gotta have ID. Right. And a dollar in your pocket, they, they can charge you and take you to jail for For not having ID and a dollar in your pocket. But they, they, what they call it is a vagrancy. You wow. You got a dollar in your pocket and an ID that could take you to jail. They don't push for it. But it's but an some option. Some of the officers are really hard. Do you want to cross here or is it too dangerous yeah. now? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's right up on the next corner. Okay. You want to go for it? Yeah. You got this? Oh, So who's the other meal for? Uh, who's the other meal for? Your buddy or you? Uh, who's it for? The other meal? Uh, my my roommates. Nice. Yeah. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the shrimp and I'm gonna give the two meals. Okay. Two roommates. The ones that help me all the time. Right. Paige, what do you do to wash your clothes? Uh, where do you take a shower? How does that work? Well. Um, Sunday through Thursday, you can get a shower yeah. and a change of clothes at Salt up on Central Boulevard. Okay. You can do it Sunday through Thursday. Sunday through Thursday. Yep. And you got to be there before 2 o'clock if you want to change your clothes because their thrift store closes at 2 o'clock. So, Paige, was that your answer also? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in agreement. Hey, Gloria! As far as family for you, what do you got? What don't you have? You got you. As far as I know, I'm the last of the Mohicans in my family. But, yeah. Hey, the my mom like passed guys. away, my dad right. passed away. I didn't have any other kids. So you were the only child? I was the only child. How, how long has it been since they passed away? Uh, my mom passed away in 88. And my dad passed away in 99. So they've been gone a while. Yes. Did they... Oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going I'm to let Frederick uh, <laughs> get a little crazy on the green light. Um, so they passed away. You've been on your way, on your alone. Right. So did they know you? How, how did they know you? You know, you were still working at that oh, point? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Was it Walmart? Yes. How long were you at Walmart? Uh, 13 years. Okay. I don't know. That was a little dicey. Yeah. Welcome to Orlando. City beautiful. All right, where are we sitting? Okay. Okay. So last of the Mohicans. Yep, last of the Mohicans. Wow. Yeah. Um, were you married? Mm-hmm. Kids? No. Okay. I, I, I get that entirely. How long were you married? 16 years. Long time. Mm-hmm. 
Did you live in this state? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. We were high school sweethearts. Which high school? St. Augustine High. Where at? St. Augustine High. St. Augustine, okay. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Do you keep in touch? Every once in a while. Every once in a while, yeah. And what is, I'm assuming, he doing? Uh, he's up in Alabama. He, um, we went up there to help him with his uh, family. Right. His dad was really sick at the time. So we moved up there. And we helped with the farm. Oh, and wow. Then, um, <clears throat> then it just, you know, we separated. Yeah. We drifted apart, you know. know. There's a garbage can right there. These people are slobs, <coughs> man. Oh, yeah. Uh, you imagine they live outside? Imagine what their apartment would look like. Because <laughs> yeah. they're nasty out here. Yeah. Imagine what they're... They just throw garbage everywhere. So is this your table? Yeah, no, you you can sit down right there. So how long have you known Frederick? Right here. Almost 20 years now. Wow. I, obviously there's a lot of mental illness. Mm -hmm. A lot. Oh yeah. And, and they don't take medication for it. Right. Um, it causes problems. And I can see where law enforcement might have to react to that right yeah um because you know uh, people that are working down here whatever they don't like it right and there, there's some i mean I, i've seen some people that i would consider in rough shape you know right. where i don't know how they're there you know what i mean um how do you keep safe i mean you know during the day it's probably a lot easier there's more people that can witness a problem one time we spoke, you said, you mentioned the word, you're afraid something was happening. Right. And you used the word potentially, you were afraid that day you might be raped. I mean, that's a real deal type thing. Do you, how, how do you navigate outside of that? It, you know, you just gotta stay close to where you feel safe at a safe zone. Yeah. Like this, the old SunTrust building Right. That's my safe zone. Right. Um, and I know I'll be. I'm safe there. And if anything even tries to to happen, I know Lewis, the head security guard there. Yep. You know. Yep. Um, they got such good cameras there. At uh, at 200 South. Right. The uh, yeah. sun. The old SunRail. Uh, right. Sun Trust. Right. Yeah. And um, you know, Philip across the street, the the security guards there, Jay, you know, at the cameras and everything. It's just I feel it's more safer. I stay in a safe environment as mm -hmm. far as I can. You right. Know? And if I feel like somebody that I don't trust or, you know, have weird feelings about, yep. I'll go to Lewis or somebody like and that. And say something. And say, hey, you know, I'm getting a weird vibe or mm -hmm. something's really fishy about this person. So maybe you want to keep them out and take a look. Or... And you guys see some awfully strange and horrible things like we haven't i haven't talked about like where you go to the bathroom i'm sure you know where to go where you can't get in trouble right. i mean but like you were describing uh you had found a kid that overdosed in her car a year or two ago right and yeah. you reported it yeah. they couldn't save the person but the right. family wanted to say thank you right yeah so i mean it, it you see, that's like over here on pine street behind the uh the alley behind um, um, the 7-Eleven and 55 West. Yeah. Three years ago, I'm walking down Pine Street to go to the 7-Eleven. Yep. And all of a sudden, I look down the alley, and there's three black guys and two white guys. And the next thing I know, the two white guys, or one of the white guys, <coughs> the, they got sh he got shot. Oh, wow. Right there in front of me. Okay. You know? I mean, and then... They start running, you know, towards, you know, going down the alley towards where I was standing. I'm like, oh, crap. So, right. you know, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Wow. You know, and it's not <clears throat> like you try and tell OPD or, you know, somebody, and they're like, well, you know, it's, it's yeah, already yeah. said and done. You OPD know? Is yeah, yeah. Is supposed to protect and serve. Yeah. yeah they just, don't do that. And, you know, they, it's just 
If it ain't doing I, good I trust them, more of you guys than, they don't care. Than, than OPD or anybody else. You know, everybody has a monster. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just, it kills me when, you know, like, you know, somebody will walk down and, and they judge you for, they don't even know what my monster is or right. was or, you know, I don't know what their monster is. You know, it could be overeating, it could be picking their nose. Who yeah. knows what it could be? Yeah. You know, it's not our job down here on earth to choose or to, to uh, judge, judge people. Mm -hmm. people at all for their mistakes. The only one allowed to judge you is hey guys. Jesus you doing, Christ. Man? Yeah. So, you know. Hey, my favorite officer. So it's just, and it, it just kills me how people you know, will judge before they ask. Yeah. You know, and I, I appreciate what you're doing. It, it takes the time to... Well, yeah, I mean, I most of the people in my office, like Milton, everybody knows Milton. Right. Like, Milton's kind of special because it's obvious, you know, that Milton's different than a lot of people. Right. Um, never problem. Like, yesterday when I heard he was banned from public. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it was just shocking. Yeah, you know, I couldn't imagine him know, doing know, something. Got, you know, it's just it's not, there's new people. It's not only new people of the homeless that get in this town. It's new people that and start really working, nasty and they start got a working heart like stone. in this, yeah. in this the area, way I and they don't get the time take the time to get to know anybody. Right. Except for somebody that's working right beside them or collecting a check. You right. Know? So I mean, it's not they're not like you. They will, you know, say hello, respond back as you're supposed to. Right. I always said there's a there's a, a very good rude uh, class in this city because there's a lot of rude people and the teacher is damn good mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you yeah. say hello and they just keep you know they throw their nose up in the air even higher so what is your h how do you end homelessness like you you hear that a lot everybody there's a bunch of programs to end homelessness and Poverty. The not programs possible. are not like what they say they are. Yeah. They really aren't. Somebody now, said, why don't you go eat at the coalition? I will not eat there yeah. because I eat out of the best restaurants downtown. Yeah. There's 25 restaurants. And, and I eat out of them at least three times a day. The homeless coalition? Yes. Yeah. yeah the, the, you know, the, I got sick off that food and my last got time, food poisoning there the last a year time, ago. Last time I ate at the, uh, the coalition was like... Well, when the old coalition was still up. Oh, the old, the, that yeah. was the old building. And um, I'm sitting at the women's table. Yep. And there was a, a little saucer plate, uh, and it had one slice of the bread left on there. A lady reached over to go grab that piece of bread. Another lady on the other side of the table stabbed her in the hand with a fork wow. to get the bread. Wow. So, it, it, I mean, it, got, it, it was very aggressive, very, very aggressive. That's why I like staying in my little safe area, you know? Yeah, you, you can control what you can control. Right. So, if you desired to live physically uh, differently, would you? Yes. yes. Okay. And it's a slow process, and I'm going to be honest about it, you know? You have to be ready. Yeah. You know? And, and tell you the truth, right now, I am kind of ready, but not, because the only thing that really is really, really holding me back from getting a real job is that I'm going to miss the money on a daily basis. Cash. Right. Right. You know, and that's, that, that to me is, is kind of a little bit of a scary feeling because. There's you, no net. There's no, exactly. Not, oh, you know, when you wake up at two or three o'clock in the morning and you can't go back to sleep because either somebody woke you up or mm -hmm. you, you got scared. So you go and get a cup of coffee. You want to make sure you had enough money to have coffee and you right know, you and would have a reason to sit at a 7-eleven or an area where you can purchase something um you would like a physical change of atmosphere like you're 55, 55. 54 35. 35 and like okay you got it but i also understand like that would be a completely different change Totally different. And you don't have cash, I'm presuming, right. to for deposits or whatever. Right. Oh yeah. And First the programs last month and rent, the, the, security deposit. Well the programs kick you out. So I know yes. a, lot a lot of the lot programs. Of the yes. Well a lot of the programs don't uh, they they don't 
wait for this guy to move. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of the programs out there don't understand that, you know, if you're homeless, if you're in the situation, you're on the streets, mm -hmm. there is a drug problem. Right. That getting off the drugs, it, it it's not just one time. You're going to fall off oh, the yeah. cart several times. Oh, yeah. And every time in Palm Beach County, this was the case, as soon as you fall off the wagon and you were put into some sort of um, uh, shelter, you're out immediately and yeah. you have to start, start all, all over, over again. again. So what is the answer? Uh, you know, I, I mean... That's, that's, the, that's the question that we've all been asking each other. So where are you heading now? Um, I'm going to try and go over here and collect a few dollars. Okay. Just see what I can do for the rest of the day. Right. You know? You hang lights and eat cheese. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, this was good. I think it's helpful to give people an idea that what yeah. they see on the street or so. the people so. they meet. I hope give them the right impression and yeah. direction of, you know, our lives. Any close <laughs> friends? Um, Fred? Yep. Uh, yes, uh, very close. Yeah. Which, um, yeah. Crossing a, here? A couple of them have passed away already. Yeah. You know, there was one man, uh, he was blind, Mr. Harold, an older black guy. Uh huh. Blind as a bat. Loved me to death, and I loved him to death. He was a good, good friend. Yep. And um, he slowly passed away with cancer, you know? Oh, untreated? Yeah, yeah, because nobody would help him. Now, did he have the insurance you had? He had the insurance, but you know, still wasn't enough, you know? Right. So. Right. So sometimes, you know, whenever I feel bad or lonely, I just go to our spot that we used to sit and talk all the time. And I'll just sit there. In my mind, I'm talking to him. Yeah. You know? Where is that spot? Uh, it's actually up here on Pine Street underneath the uh, overpass. Oh, wow. Yeah. We used to sit there a lot. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm happy... Uh, I found you today. Yes. I did wait. You yes, want to? Yeah, let's do it. Just, let's I'm do so, it. So sorry, Dad. Nah, it's fine. Oh, um, it's now I can tell the guy who made fun of me. Uh, <laughs> he's like, "You got stood up, man." I'm like, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> Where'd you park up here? Yeah, I parked in a lot, but uh, apparently they give yeah. tickets while you're yeah. getting out of your vehicle to pay the parking right. meter. Right. Yeah, it sounds sounds a little funny but they're expensive too yes they are yeah. all right well thank you thank you oh. yes sir we will uh see each other again soon yes